Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all to my today's presentation. Today, I am going to present before you one of the most important topic of grammar, that is right form of verbs. Before going for further discussion about right form of verb, few things we all need to know to solve the right uh, solve the problem of right form of verb, and those are different form of verbs. Number one, base form. We also call it present form of verb like do, take, go, etc. and we call it v1. Number two, past form. We call it v2 and the past form of the verb do is did and the past form of the verb take is took. Number three, past participle form and we call it v3 and the past participle form of the verb do is done and the verb take is taken. Number four, this is gerund. If we add ing with the base form of the verb and that performs the function of noun in a sentence, we call it a gerund. Like, swimming is my favorite hobby. Here, if I ask the question, what is my favorite hobby? The answer is swimming. That means here the word swimming is performing the function of a noun and also the subject of that particular sentence. That's why we call it a gerund. Number five, this is participle. Again, if we add ing with the base form of the verb and that performs the function of an adjective in a sentence, we call it participle. Like, the boy got down from a running train. Here, the word running is used before the word train to modify the word train and the word running is performing the function of an adjective here and that's why we call it participle. Now there are certain rules that we need to know to identify the tense or the correct form of the verb in a sentence and we are going to discuss the, those rules in details in our next slides. Number one. If a sentence indicates universal truth, habitual fact, day-to-day -day activities, or if any general description of anything is given in any sentence, we write down the sentence in present indefinite tense. And we all know that the structure of present indefinite tense is subject plus v1, that means present form of the verb, or the base form of the verb plus object. The examples are the earth moves round the sun. This sentence indicates the universal truth. Number one, the sun rises in the east. Again, this sentence indicates a uh, universal truth. I can cite another example for here, uh, for these rules, like he goes to school every day. This is a habitual fact of a particular person. And if I say, father gets up early in the morning, this is also, an, also a habitual fact of father. The second rule that we are going to focus on is in present indefinite tense, if the subject is third person singular number, we add s or es at the end of the base form of the verb. Now the question comes, with which verb we use s and with which verb we use es? And there is a note for that. The verbs which end with ch, sh, ss, o, and x take es at the end, and all other verbs take s at the end. Like she write a letter. Here, the verb write ends with e. So we add s here. She writes letter. And in the second example, the boy generally go to college at 8 a.m. Here, the verb go ends with O. That means CH, SS, CH, SH, SS, O, and X. So if these are there, we use ES here. So with go, we use ES. The boy generally goes to college at 8 a.m. The next rule we are going to discuss is there are some adverb of time that denotes the time of the present, like always, sometime, regularly, daily, every day, often, usually, generally, normally, ordinarily, optionally. If we find any of these adverb of time in any sentence, 
we write down the sentence in present indefinite tense that means the verb of that sentence will be in base form or the present form usually father work in the morning so what will be the correct form of the sentence the correct form of the sentence will be usually father works in the morning he get up early in the morning every day here the word every day is there so we will write down the sentence in present indefinite tense and the correct form will be he gets up early in the morning then we are going to focus on one of the very important rule of right form of verb that is if there is no auxiliary verb in a sentence we can use do does or did to make that sentence negative or interrogative like we not play hadoop so we will make the sentence negative by using do there and the correct form will be we do not play hadoop she not play football here the subject is third person singular number and that's why we will use does there and the correct form will be she does not play football and the third example is he not come home yesterday here we are seeing a, a an adverb of time that denotes the time of past that means he did not come home yesterday so as the work is done in the past time the verb uh, will also be in past indefinite tense and we have used did there instead of do or does the other thing to be noticed is when we use does or did in any sentence we will have to use the base form or the v1 of the verb we will have to use v1 or the base form of the verb like in the second sentence if you notice she does not play football here the base form of the verb is play as we have used does there we cannot add s or es with the main verb and in the third sentence he did not come home yesterday here after the word did we have used the base form of the main verb come instead of the past form of the verb so rule number 5 that we are going to discuss is about present continuous tense so according to the according to rule number 5 if we get at verb of time now at present at this moment in any sentence we will write down the sentence in present continuous tense and we all know that what is the structure of present continuous the structure of present continuous is am is are plus verb plus ing so if we get now that now at this moment at present in any sentence we will write down the sentence in present continuous tense the examples are the students sing the national national anthem now here the word now is there and we will write down the sentence in present continuous tense so the correct form will be the students are singing the national anthem now the next example the boys watch the television at this moment again we have got the adverb of time there at this moment and we will write down the sentence in present continuous tense and the correct form will be the boys are watching the television now the next rule that we are going to focus on is about present perfect tense before discussing the rule i would like to uh, focus on the definition of the of present perfect tense that is if any work is finished i repeat if any work is finished at present we call it present perfect tense whether its effect uh, is prevailing or not that's not the question the work might be finished without finishing any work we cannot call it a, per a perfect one like uh, suppose i have gone to a uh, to, to a function everything was perfect there the dinner and the fooding everything was good there but at the very last moment there was a chaos there was a riots and people started hitting each other with uh, with chairs and other things can we call it a perfect one no definitely not so if we want to 
call a thing a perfect one definitely that will have to be finished so if any work is finished at present we call it present perfect tense so if we find any of these at verb of time in any sentence like just just now yet already ever lately recently in any sentence we will write down the sentence in present perfect tense and we all know that the structure of present perfect tense is have has plus v3 that means the past participle form of verb the examples are have you ever be to box bazaar we all know that this sentence as ever is there we will write down the sentence in present perfect tense and the correct form will be have you ever been to box bazaar we all know that the word be means am is are was where the present form are am is are the past form of this verb is was where and the past participle form of this verb is been so the past participle form of this verb is been so have you ever been to cox's bazar that means have you ever gone to cox's bazar second one i received the letter just now so according to the rules if just just now yet already ever lately recently is there we will write down the sentence in present perfect tense so the correct form will be i have just i have received the letter just now he joined there recently again as the word recently is there we will write down the sentence in present perfect tense and the correct form will be he has joined there recently the next rule we are going to discuss is after have has had get got having and to be we always use v3 or the past participle of form of the verb and the examples are she has write a letter here the correct form will be she has written a letter in the second sentence i have have my meal and the correct form will be i have had my meal because after have has had get got having and to be we will always use the past participle form of the verb he got his clothes wash so we have already said that after have has had get got having and to be the verb will be past participle form so here the word got is there the word got is there so after got the verb will be in past participle form so the correct form will be he got his cloth washed rule number 8 uh, this is about present perfect continuous tense and we know that if any work started before and still going on so uh, or we can also tell that we can also say that if any work is going on for a particular period of time or from a particular point of time we write down the sentence in present perfect continuous tense and uh, uh, um, and if we find since plus point of time or for plus period of time in any sentence we will write down the sentence in present perfect continuous tense and the structure of present perfect continuous tense is subject plus have been or has been plus v1 plus ing ing is always added with the base form or v1 form of the verb so the example or the example is it rained for 2 hours so for plus time is there and that's why we are going to write down the sentence in present perfect continuous tense and the correct form of the sentence will be it has been raining for 2 hours second one it rained since morning since plus point of time so the correct form will be it has been raining since the morning rule number 8 this is about past indefinite tense we all know that if any work is done earlier in past tense or in uh, in the time in the past we will write down the sentence in past indefinite tense 
and if we get uh, any of these adverb of time like yesterday ago long ago long since long before last night last week last month day before yesterday in any sentence we will write down the sentence in past indefinite tense and the verb of that sentence will be will be v2 or past form i draw a picture yesterday here the word yesterday is there and that's why we will write down that's why we will write down the sentence in past indefinite tense that means the correct form will be i drew a picture yesterday i got the parcel last month again we see the time of the past last month there so we will write down the sentence in past indefinite tense and the correct form will be i got the parcel last month the next rule we are going to discuss is about past continuous tense so if any work was going on in the past we call it past continuous tense and if we find at that time or then in any sentence we will write down the sentence in past continuous tense and the structure of past continuous tense is was or plus verb plus ing and the examples are i write a letter then or at that time so if we find then or at that time in any sentence we will write down the sentence in past continuous tense so the correct form will be i was writing a letter at that time or then next we are going to discuss about a rule related with past continuous tense uh, i would like to write something for the better clarification of the rule that is here according to rule number 11 if there is verb immediately after the word while we will add ing with that verb like while take dinner he received the phone so the correct form will be while taking the dinner but if there is subject in between while and the verb we will write down the sentence in past continuous tense like while i play in the field i saw him coming here i is there in between while and play so according to the rules if there is subject in between while and play or if there is subject after while and before the verb we will write down the sentence in past continuous tense and the correct form of the second sentence will be while i was playing in the field i saw him coming rule number 12 if a simple sentence contains two main verbs what we do we add ing with the second verb or we can add to before second verb or we can use infinitive and we know that what is infinitive 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 means to plus verb base form and the examples are i saw him read the book here in this simple sentence we are saying two verb first one is saw and the second one is first one is saw and the second one is read so here uh, the right the right the correct form of the sentence will be i saw him reading the book father wants me write a letter here the first verb is want if the first verb is want like wish expect or something like this we normally use infinitive instead of instead of verb plus ing so the correct form of the second sentence will be father wants me to write a letter in first sentence we have used ing with the second verb but in the second sentence we have used infinitive or to plus verb so i repeat if the first verb is want like wish expect or something like that we use infinitive instead of the next rule that we are going to focus on is if two sentences of past are connected with 
before and after the sentence structure will be subject plus head plus v3 plus v4 plus subject plus v2 that means we will use past perfect tense before the word before and we will use past perfect tense after the word after so if two sentence of past are connected with before and after what have we said first we use past perfect tense before the word before and we use past perfect tense after the word after and if we look at the example here the patient had died before here the focus point is the word before so had plus not first person participle form or the perfect tense will be before the word before and here we have used past perfect tense the patient died after the doctor had come here had plus v3 is used after the word after so uh, the structure will be according to according to the meaning of the of the two word before and after we will use after we will use present perfect tense sorry we will use past perfect tense before the word before and we will use past perfect tense after the word after and the examples are we reach our school before the bell rang here the correct form will be we had reached our school before the bell rang in the second one the patient died after the doctor come according to the rule we we use past perfect tense after the word after so the correct form will be the patient died after the word, the doctor had come rule number 14 is about future indefinite tense if any work is supposed to be done in future we will write the sentence in present uh, future indefinite tense and if we find any of these adverb of time like tomorrow the day after tomorrow next in future in the time to come we will write down the sentence in future indefinite tense and we all know that the structure of future indefinite tense is subject plus shall will plus he one or the base form of the verb and the example are we not go there in future the correct form will be we shall not go there in future nila come from dhaka the day after tomorrow so the correct form will be nila will come from dhaka the day after tomorrow the next rule we are going to focus on is rule number 15 a sentence containing by or before plus time like by 5 pm by morning or within plus time or in plus time like within 2 hours within 1 year so if we find by plus time or before plus time in plus time or within plus time in any sentence we write down the sentence in future perfect tense and the examples are the first one i will have returned by 5 pm and the second one is they will have finished the work within 2 weeks i repeat if we find by before plus time or in within plus time in any sentence we will write down the sentence in future perfect tense the next one is rule number 16 this is about models and we know that what are the uh, which are the models the models are can could may might uh, will would shall should have to or to going to all these verbs are called model auxiliaries because they do not have three regular forms of the verb like other like present past and past participle and they are also called model because of their function they do not take as or yes at the end of their at the end of them regarding subject and regarding the subject or the person so according to rule number 16 we use 
V1 or the base form of the verb or the present form of the verb after the models. Can, would, may, might, shall, should, will, would, have to, ought to, going to. So, after all the models, we use base form or the present form of the verb. The examples are The man can do the work. Number two, he can walk five miles at a time. So, as the word can is there, the correct form will be he can walk five, five miles. In the second, second one, the girl must not go to college. Here, again we use the present form of the word and the correct form will be the girl must not go to college on foot. But, if the sentence is in passive form, in right form verb, one of the very vital thing that we need to focus is whether the sentence is in active voice or passive voice. How can we understand whether the sentence is active or whether the sentence is passive? For detecting or for identifying active and passive voice, we need to focus on the subject of the verb like he took his meal. But in the second sentence, if I write his meal take by in the first sentence, he took his meal. Here, we see that the subject can perform the function. That means, if the subject can do the work or if the work is done by the subject himself, that is active voice. But in the second sentence, if we see his meal take by him, his meal cannot be taken, taken by it itself. It will be taken by him. So, if the subject is, a, is an inactive one, we will write down the sentence in passive voice and the correct form of the second sentence will be his meal is taken by him. And regarding models, after all the model, we use the present form or the base form of the verb. But if the sentence is passive, we add B with the models <coughs> like, <coughs> like he can do the work. But in the second sentence, the work can do. In the first sentence, the subject, subject is active one. That's why the sentence is also in active voice. But in the second sentence, the work. The work cannot perform itself. So it will be done by someone else. And the sentence is in passive voice. So we will have to add be with the model, can be, and the verb will be in V3 form or the first participle form. The work can be done. So uh, I repeat, according to rule number 16, after all the models, we use base form or the present form of the verb. But if the sentence is passive, we add B, B E with all the with all the models, and we use V3 or the past participle form of the verb in those sentences. Like the work ought to be done, he will be helped by me. The work can be done immediately. He could have uh, and the and the last one is about if another thing uh, we need to know is about models. If have is there, like can have could have or should have if have is there with the models again we will use v3 or the past participle form of the verb and in the last example here we have used v3 or the past participle form of the verb in the slide like he could have do or he, uh, he could have do his work the correct form will be he could have done his work. So, this was all from my part today. We will meet again. I will come again with my second part of right form of work. Till then, stay fine and stay safe. Thank you.